everybody welcome back to the channel quick video uh, today uh, I'm waiting for a delivery so I thought I'd go in my back garden get the pinhole camera out the 045 and take uh, a picture of our outside clock which usually hangs on a wall at the back of the house and just try and create something a little bit uh, different and as you might call stretch time so I'll show you the setup now and then take the picture and uh, see if uh, see if I can create something creative Right, this is the setup. I've got the clock fixed uh, onto the bush uh, using a stick at the back of it and it's just hanging there. And get the pinhole camera and I'm going to get it really, really close uh, to it like that. I might do it in that format actually uh, and do it that way and just see uh, <laughs> the effect it's going to give with a, um, a very a wide angle setting. I'm going to use the 25mm setting which on this camera is extremely wide. So I'll get the uh, tripod out and this time I'm going to try and not get my feet in the picture. Uh, the only thing is I'm seeing a reflection of the camera on the glass but I can't, don't know how I can avoid that. We'll just see how it goes anyway. But it's all good fun and uh, experimenting sometimes brings you, uh, uh, you know, really good images. Uh, these are two that I took previously in the garden, one of these tulips. Didn't have a clue how it was going to turn out, and one of these uh, daisies looking upwards again. And again, I didn't really know how it was going to turn out, but just by trying something different, I came up with what I call uh, decent pictures. So we'll see uh, see how this goes. I'll get the camera set up. So, as you can see, I've got the camera set up now, and uh, you can see how close I am actually to the, the actual clock itself. It's the 25mm setting. And as I say, it is very, very wide angle. Um, so I've got the uh, KNF uh, tripod set up, and it's great as this tripod because I've got this uh, extension arm coming out, so it enables me to keep the tripod away. If I had it too close, it would get the feet in the picture. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned, but I can't do anything, as I said, is the reflection off the glass on the clock. But uh, if you don't try these things, you'll never know, so I'm just going to go for it. So, get ready, take some light readings and uh, take the picture. Right, we're going to take a light reading using the Seaconic uh, L398A and do an instant light reading and look for exposure time at F22. That's eighth of a second. Then check on my uh, phone. Have a look what that brings up. I've got an exposure chart on the phone. I don't know if you can see that. And that gives me the actual time at F136. So it's uh, five seconds. But I've got reciprocity failure to add. So we'll just check that out. So the reciprocity timer app. Uh, has given me uh, seven seconds so it's added two seconds for the reciprocity failure. Now for this uh, picture I've, even at close up because the camera's level with the face of the clock I don't think it'll distort the clock that much but believe it or not it'll get the grass in at the bottom and it'll probably get the top of this bush in. It, it is so wide and that's why it's so exciting to use uh, 25 millimeter. You can get really really dramatic shots. Right, I'll get the picture now and then uh, we'll move on and do the second shot. Use the app for the time. Right, start. So that's the uh, first image. Now we'll do uh, another picture. I've got two uh, four by five sheets in the holder and this time I'm going to point the um, or not point it tilt the uh, the actual um, camera backwards looking up towards the clock face and I think that way I might I might I think I will get some sky in and uh, I will get foreground but these cameras do uh, the, at this focal length uh, these pinholes do vin vignette quite uh, quite a bit but that that's the character of them and they give this this really uh, dramatic look. 
So I'll get the uh, second uh, picture set up. Right, I've got the camera set up in a totally different position. It might not look uh, a lot different from the first one, but because it's such a wide angle um, view, it will change the, uh, the, the comp composition drastically. I know that I might get some skying from here. I'll definitely get some vegetation. So uh, that's the fun of pinhole photography. You never really know what you're going to get. You've just got to experiment. But if it does work, it's really, really satisfying and fun. So I'll take the exposure now, I think the exposure is going to be the same as before. So I'll have to remove the uh, exposed film, well not remove it. Turn it round, so now it's at the back. And then refasten the dark slab with the bands. Get my clock. And uh, double check everything's okay. Right, take the dark slide out. Start the timer. That was it, seven seconds. Dark slide in. So that's that, two shots. Just see uh, what we come up with. As I say, it's uh, it, this is the fun of pinhole photography, you never know what you're going to uh, get. Right, get this film, uh, these two sheets of film developed now. Right, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's my 106th video uh, that I've uploaded to the channel, I think in the last four years. And uh, you know, I've enjoyed doing every one. And my uh, philosophy or thought pattern when I first started doing the uh, videos uh, wasn't to try and uh, earn a load of money from it, from YouTube. I have not, I've not even monetized my uh, channel uh, so far. It, my philosophy was to help people learn about uh, black and white uh, film photography and hopefully through my videos it's inspired them to try uh, different types of cameras and, and film uh, you might want to try colour film as long as it's film uh, if you keep buying it it will keep it alive so that's that's one of the big reasons that uh, I've uh, started this channel and uh, I will con continue to do so because uh, I think it would be a very sad day if film uh, no longer ceased to be available now I've uh, lots of cameras in my collection as you've seen over the years and uh, uh, the one that I do enjoy using the most is the pinhole camera. It's a camera that uh, allows you to do or try different things that it would be possible with a normal camera with a lens. You can put them in any position, any angle and you know they always seem to produce images that are, are different especially the wide angle ones that I've used in this video you get this dramatic look from them and uh, you don't get this horrible distortion they don't seem to distort if you look at the the uh, the picture of the clock in the in the in the video it's not distorted it's still round so they are true a pinhole cameras but when i said stretch time uh, it's at the edges that it stretches especially with a wide angle uh, pinhole camera and you get this vignetting but that is the character of it and that's what creates these dramatic pictures so Pinhole photography, if you've never tried it, especially for film pinhole uh, photography, give it a go. You will, I'm sure, once you get used to it, really, really enjoy it. 
So if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up, a like and better still uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions leave them below and I'll get back to you and uh, as I always say stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video. The Art of Pinhole Photography.